Hello friends, I'm Christopher and I love to garden. My love for gardening has grown over the years and I've been influenced by many content creators here on YouTube as well as family members and friends in the real life. So this is another entry in a video series I'm doing just giving credit where credit is due and showing what I've learned from different people and how I've implemented that in my own garden. So today I am giving a shout out and kudos to Jim, the Midwest gardener. Here we are in June and it's time for another garden update. I've been watching Jim, I think, for at least three years now, uh, at least since I started my own channel in 2015 at the end of uh, September, October time, and it's, it's been really enjoyable. Our channels grew pretty much in lockstep up until last year, and then his channel um, got a, a pretty nice uptick in, in viewers. He's at about 9,000 subs. I'm at about 6,000 subs right now. Um, love his content. He's, he's such a gentle gardener. When I started first watching him, I imagined that this would be like... This is what it would be like if, like, uh, my, my dad or maybe my granddad had a YouTube channel. You know, somebody uh, patient, very thoughtful and insightful, and very knowledgeable. You never actually see Jim's face in the videos. You know, all you, I mean, he's always behind the camera. You see his face on his cover photo, you know, looking good. But that's inconsequential. Uh, the content is, is really terrific. He's very, very skilled at a lot of things that I would like to learn and implement in the future. Um, one of the things that I think that has gotten him a lot of traction over the years are his videos on tomatoes. That seems to be a specialty, or at least a passion of his from what I've watched. Um, he grows a lot of tomatoes, um, just a wide variety of them, and I know he does a lot of work with grafting, and that's something that I have yet to experiment with. But I know when the time comes for me to learn about that, I will be using Jim's techniques just because I'm really comfortable with his work and I know that it's very successful because he has a prolific garden and it's beautiful. So he is out of Kansas so it's a couple gardening zones warmer than I am. I, I'm in 5A I think he must be 7A or B maybe even 8. I, sh I probably should have checked a cold hardiness zone map before I started this video but that's okay. I'm sitting here amongst my rhubarb and my raspberries because Jim and I, I think we have bonded over raspberries. I, as you know, love them. I've got a hedge back here along the side and in the front of the yard, we grow a ton of raspberries. They're my wife's favorite fruit. Um, he grows raspberries as well of different varieties and actually of um, all the other gardeners that I've connected with on YouTube, uh, Jim is the only one who can stake claim to having something of his in my garden. Um, in fact, I will splice in some footage right now um, amongst my row of whatever kind of, I will call them normal raspberries I have. He sent me a couple shoots of dark black raspberries a year ago and they, they took off and this year they are really taken off. So there's a little bit of Kansas Jim here in Oshkosh, Wisconsin, and it is super cool. So like I've said, Jim has a lot of great content, but one of my favorite videos of his, I think he put out last year, or maybe it was the year before that, he likes to grow, but well, I think a lot of gardeners do. You know, we always like to pick something new every year to try, and one of the things that he tried a couple years back was growing peanuts. And I never in my wildest dreams would have ever considered growing peanuts in the Midwest, even though he's in a much hotter climate than I am. Um, and that was so cool to watch from start to finish and to harvest and to see that, yeah, you can actually grow peanuts of all things. So that's an inspiration for me. Maybe in future years I might be growing peanuts behind the camera here. They've got a great big open space where my ground cherries used to be and uh, I've decided not to grow them at least in the ground anymore. So I could do a couple of potted plants and peanuts would be right up there. Let me tell you what. So um, of course that video is linked right up here. I hope you uh, go and check it out and the rest of his stuff. He's a really cool guy and he always leaves um, some insightful comments down below. So Shout out to Jim. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new, I hope you'll subscribe. Go check out Jim and check out some other gardening videos. And uh, happy growing, everybody. Until next time.